Top 10 Things to Do in Phuket, Thailand Mark your calendars because on November 1st, Phuket, Thailand is opening its doors to the world once again after the COVID lockdown. With tourist attractions to die for and fun activities, Thailand never lacks tourists. So, with that, here's our top 10 list of things to do in Phuket, Thailand. Number 10. Muay Thai in Phuket With first-class outstanding trainers, the Phuket Island offers the best training system in the world. After all, Muay Thai or Thai boxing originated in Thailand, making it a hot spot among martial arts enthusiasts around the world. Phuket doesn't only offer high-quality training, but it's also considered the best of the best, second to none with gyms catering client levels from beginners to professional fighters, training to compete at the elite championships. But with great training also comes the competitive prices among Phuket. Scared of being scammed for a training session? A group training session could reach to 500 baht at most, and a private training session could go for 800 baht. If you're staying at the island long enough, you could get away with it for a way cheaper price, but still at the utmost top quality. Number 9. Learn about their history What is a more fun activity than to enjoy while learning? In Puget Town, you can discover their culture with the ever-so-lively island with hotels, restaurants, and massage parlors all over the town. Puget Town only came to be a few decades since the other beach near town opened to development in 1980. The diverse culture of the island is showcased by how Chinese immigrants influence the architectural structure of the buildings. Suppose you have a good eye for international historical designs. In that case, you'd also be able to pinpoint the Portuguese aesthetic around town with a mix of traditional Thai styles around too. Take a stroll around Old Puget Town to see the historical but well-preserved shrines, shop houses, Sino-Portuguese mansions, and temples and shrines. If you haven't caught on already, the island is full of creativity and art, so take a visit at their Puget Trick Eye Museum. The famous interactive 3D art gallery while paying your divine respects in the Chinese temple of Joitoi Shrine. The fascinating temple might be a place of religion, but the colorful interior will leave you in awe. Number 8. The Puget Big Buddha In the hills of Nekerd between Kata and Shalong sits the Puget Big Buddha, one of the island's alluring landmarks, one you must have visited at least once in your life. Not only do you see the 360-degree breathtaking view of nature upon the hills, but you also get the glimpse of the 45-meter-tall statue of Buddha faced with white jade marble built way back in 2004. To reach this magnificent view, however, you'd have to get your sweat on. On your way up the hill, we'd advise you to take a taxi or a tuk-tuk up on the 6-kilometer road, but when you reach the steep stairs to the monument, you'll only have your feet to rely on the rest of your trip. The hard work will definitely earn you an experience to die for with the peaceful flutter of prayer flags in the winds and the little tinkling of small bells. Number 7. The Authentic Puget Still feel like you haven't gotten to know the island you wish you would have? Try visiting the Rawai village of Puget, then you'll truly learn a major part of their culture. Also called the Tribe of Sea Gypsies, it's a small village located on the east coast side of the island where you can see the lifestyle of the Moken. Although some of the villagers live by the tranquil ocean, others like to live the semi-nomadic life. With roots in the Andaman and the Nicobar Islands, the Ruai village are still committed to their own personal beliefs and customs. Since the village is offshore, many if not most of the villagers have resulted to fishing as their way of living. Since Ruai has always been a fishing harbor and a blue sea covered with other means of accessories for their magnificent cultures, such as the coconut palms, swamp oaks, and fishing boats. Of course, with the sea comes all that lives on it – seafood. As you can probably predict, the village is known for the freshness of their seafood in local markets. You can buy the catch of the day, ensuring your food experience is worth it. If you're feeling extra adventurous for the day, maybe you could also try to go boat sailing by renting boats to offshore islands and exploring the ocean. Number 6. A Hike Up the Mountains what more beautiful way to end the afternoon with a climb to Caron Viewpoint and sundown as your background? Caron Viewpoint gained its name because of the utterly breathtaking view you see from up the mountain, with a glimpse of the three iconic beaches Puget offers – Katanoi, Katayai, and Caron Beach. One of the most famous spots on the island, it's located between Naiharn and Katanoi beaches. 
a peaceful hike will gain you the most picturesque view you'll get from the trip. And if you feel like sharing, take a picture and share it on your Instagram. With a little bit of everything, the clear sparkling ocean, tall trees, and widest sands. Though, make sure to arrive early, parking spots are only limited. Make sure to bring some cash with you because you'll never run out of options with the several drinks and snack stands along with the gazebo. Number 5. Wat Sha Long Phuket, Thailand never lacks temples, especially when they have 29. But Wat Sha Long might just be the best. The temple was built dedicated to Luang Po Kaim and Luang Po Chuang, the highly respected monks of the islands, and is located in Phuket's Sha Long Bay in the northern part of Tambol Sha Long. If you come to visit, you'll be able to take sight of the human-sized wax models of the monks and other figures in the temple, all in various poses. To pay your respects, visitors must remove their shoes upon entering the temple and dress conservatively. Non-Buddhists come to learn about Buddhism in the temple while many locals pray almost every day. Some locals even claim to have experienced miracles in the temple, including the healing role of the temple during the Battle of the Chinese Secret Societies in 1876. Number 4. Puget's Trick Eye Museum To add to our extensive list of sites, I bet you'd greatly enjoy a trip to the museum and observe the authentic art of the island. The island can get quite hot, so make sure to look for indoor activities to calm your brains too, and the Puget Trick Eye Museum is the best way to calm you down. The interactive 3D painting exhibition might just be the pop of color your Instagram feed needs. The museum houses 100 painted and sculpted scenes using trompe de l'oeil or translated from French meaning deceive the eye, transporting you to different humorous locations perfect for a family and friends activity. You're sure to question how the whole thing works when looking at your pictures, so make sure to take your best pictures yet. Number 3. Puget Night Markets What's a trip without souvenirs, of course? In the markets of Phuket, you'll never run out of things to buy, from street food to bring home keychains. Don't know where to start? Begin your shopping in Sunday Walking Street Market, one of the island's biggest attractions, set in the majestically historic part of the village. And if you haven't guessed it already, the market is only open on Sundays. You're highly suggested to travel on foot to get the most of the local experience with ambiance, lights, art, and antique buildings surrounding the stalls selling mouth-watering street foods. Souvenir shopping can get quite expensive, but not if you know where to look. In the Puget Weekend Market, known as the biggest night market on the island, never seem to run out of souvenirs and local foods. Enjoy the nightlife, shopping, and sample testing Thai street foods while watching live animals perform. Even if you're on a tight budget, the market is still worth the visit, especially since they offer second-hand but good quality goods too. The Puget Weekend Market is so big that they decided to split the market in half, one for goods and the other for foods. If you have adventurous taste buds, you might just enjoy the exotic foods like deep-fried insects sold in the stalls. Number 2. Puget Elephant Sanctuary have you ever wanted to see elephants minus the animal cruelty factor? Well, you're in luck, because the island also has its very own Puget Elephant Sanctuary, an ethical elephant sanctuary to sightsee elephants as they roam, bathe, and socialize with other elephants as they walk around the 30 acres of tropical land and trees bordering the Cao Prateo National Park. These rescued animals will be worth the money because visitors won't be allowed to ride the animals unlike other elephant sanctuaries. While enjoying the experience as you start the morning, your money supports a cause to take care of old and injured animals. Number 1. Ko Phi Phi Snorkeling Trip The best way to enjoy the ocean is from beneath it, and a snorkeling trip will do just that. Lucky for you, Phuket has one of the best diving spots in all of Thailand and is in especially good condition in comparison to others. The water is an enjoyable temperature of 26 to 30 degrees Celsius as you travel the waters and explore corals and fishes diverse colors and sizes. Swim in the right place and you might just get to see sea turtles, manta rays, and even whale sharks. We highly recommend taking a speedboat to Koh Phi Phi, a world-renowned island known for its picturesque landscapes. Near the island is the Rang Yai and Maya Bay, also known for its scenic view of Thailand waters. The list keeps growing and growing once you've reached Phuket. Let us know what your favorite ones are down below. Enjoy your travels, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one.